Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes All The Way from Down Under, and today I'm going to be talking about the new map in Combat Arms called Treasure Ship. Now, the first thing I want to go and say about this map is that it's very, very long. There is a lot of long range sniping opportunities, as you can see, but also some lots of medium range and a lot of close range opportunities. And that's absolutely awesome, because the best maps in combat arms have a mix of different ranges. For example, oil rig, a lot of uh, different ranges on that map. And also, before I forget to mention it, this whole thing about running and going, like, basically three quarters up the map near the enemy spawn, where you can pull off massive flanks, and I've got no idea where you're coming from, that got borrowed, basically borrowed from a game called uh, Crossfire. Crossfire is a really, really, really su successful game, and it's perfect for breaking spawn traps. And this map is very easy to go and get spawn trap, especially when you come up here, boom, you're right in the line of fire, but you can run directly along here, and you've just got basically freedom. No enemies can go and drop down into this area. And you can go down here if you need to go and drop down to safety, even though you've re there is nothing here. You can go up here and you've got the best sniping position in the game, besides from the balcony. So we're just going to go drop around here. We're going to say hello to anybody that may be wanting to say hi to us. There is one person. Oh, there's another person right here. Sitting in the corner. Whoa! Oh my! Alright, he ran straight in front of me. Oh my, that was really scary. Oh my. <laughs> That shot was directly on me, directly on me, and he ran, the guy ran into him. He saved his teammate's life, but yeah, so many cool opportunities on this map, and I'm really, really enjoying it. This section right here, really good for submachine guns and assault rifles, close range, but then you've got the more long range elements, as I was showing off before, and you can play this map a lot of different ways and you don't expect the flank most of the time and that is really cool so I'm picking up a double kill right here and you can go and play super aggressively and I love that I love playing aggressive and this map really goes and caters towards me but if you're a person that likes to sit back you can sit on this balcony right here and you can just go and snipe for days you, can, you don't need to play aggressive you can just go and sit and you'll be absolutely fine playing your camping ways. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a play style, and a lot of people will choose it. Uh, choose it. So I'm going to go and use this to my advantage. See if anybody's coming down here. Sit, And you can sit, and one troll thing, and I know this is a bit bad for giving it out, can sit right at the end, and people are going to be 100% sprinting down here, and it's going to be the easiest pick of your life. Hopefully I can go and show it off for you guys, because this is what I used to do when I played Crossfire. Ah, uh, come on. That has to be one person. One person walks. Ah, no one's going. Alright, let's go up here again. But yeah. Oh. Hello. <laughs> and nobody expects the flank as well, by the way. Nobody expects the flank. So, it's like a first um, impressions, plus with a, a bit of a tips and tricks for you guys. Showing you how you can go and make the most of this map to go and get the best KDR possible. Let's go and save that. So, I'm going to be doing another run. Walking through, and I'll continue going and saying a little bit more about this map. One thing that is really, really, really cool is that every weapon is viable in this map. And that's what a lot of maps don't have. And, oh, by the way, you spawn in this area. There's not much of a spawn. So, it's really easy. If you have, like, a lot of people, you can just sit you a machine gun and just spray people down if they are... Uh, if their spawn shield times out. But you can just go right on top of here, and you can go... Snipers as you will so as before I was playing a very aggressive play style But now I'm playing a very defensive play style sitting at the back trying to go and help my enemies uh, help, help my enemies all my teammates out. What am I saying helping my teammates out trying to go and get as many shots as possible Though it is quite easy to go and get hit if If the enemy is good saying that like obviously the vertical advantage is awesome but the enemies have such uh, such good advantage from the ground because you've got zero cover up here, but they've got so much. Wow! Excuse me, that totally here. Come on, can I please stop lagging? Thank you. Can I? Wow! That that totally here. Come on, come on. Where are you? Come on. You're gonna have to peek sometime. Now or never. Oh, now or never. Now or never. Are you serious? That here. That here. That here. Know what that was, but I swear I was on target. I heard it register, whatever. But yeah, it's 
Uh, it's really cool. I love this map, and I'll definitely be getting some more gameplay out for you guys. I'll be talking a lot more about it. But look at this wide open area. Wide open area. Fantastic playing uh, environment. And then you got the cheeky shit, like right here. You can run along here, and you can. I don't know if you can get a shot. I don't know, actually. No, you can't get the shot, but that'd be really cool if you could get a niche, a neat angle through there. But. Like, people can run duels, and that can be viable. You can run a machine gun, and that can be viable. Obviously, assault rifle and sniper rifle are going to be the two best choices. But still, you can run whatever you want. And that's why I love this map so much. It's not complex. It's a really simple map. You've got... Fuck, it's, it's really fucking simple. Have a look. You've got a balcony. You've got this thing here where it's just got, like, boxes and shit. And then, overall, and then overall, it's just really, really easy to play. You could be a person that just started Combat Arms, and you can hop on this, hop into this map, and you'll have no problem learning how to go and play it. But, it's also a map where you can go and master. You can master this map as well, and that's really cool. Like all the flanking maneuvers I was showing you guys before, you can go and do that as well. And that is really, really cool, and... The downside of the uh, Second Amendment right there, the spread just gets out of control so hard. So I would suggest more like an M416 CQB, that would be a much better weapon. Or a G36E. G36 is going to be definitely used in this map quite a lot, because it's a really useful weapon for these medium and long range environments. And even close range environments as well. So the map, the game is just wrapping up, nearly almost wrapping up. So I'm going to try to go and get another kill. I'm 25 and 11, got a pretty decent KD. For my first game. And this guy's a sitting duck. Come on. Easy kill. Easy kill. Ah, where are you? No, he dropped. Uh, no, no. There's, oh, I got Oh, I got him. And, and we got the scope glitch. SJ Network. There you go, mate. GG. Gotcha. But, but there you go. That's my first impressions of uh, Treasure Ship. I definitely suggest you guys to go and hop in game and try it. Because I'm absolutely loving it at the moment. The, ho the one thing that if I didn't see that underpass there was that I was getting spawn camped. But you can just ruin that spawn camp so hard. And that is really, really cool. But other than that, it's Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under. Out.